Yo, what is happening guys? Dr. Beastie here, back with another video. And I saw this video, well, I didn't watch it, but I just got notified some months back, probably like a couple few months ago, that Joe Bartoluzzi reacted to a Mr. Beast video, $10,000 every day you survive in a grocery store, and the thumbnail was just hilarious. And in fact, it was so hilarious. Well, this one's pretty hilarious too. But the thumbnail that Joe used was so hilarious that I have to react to it. Maybe not the whole thing, because it is 21 minutes and 32 seconds long, but, uh, god damn, 243 million views? What the hell? I just bought this entire grocery store, which includes enough food to literally feed an entire city. So Mr. Beast has so much money at this point. He has so much freaking money that he can just buy whatever the hell he wants. Like, he's almost like a, he's basically like a freaking Elon Musk of YouTube. To Which is pretty cool, but I mean, at least he gives away his money. Yeah. You know. And Kevin is the guy who is going to be staying in this grocery store for I think up to forty-five days. That's what it. I believe that's what it said on the thing. This challenge could literally make. I mean, it, it could, like $10,000 a day, I mean, just do the math, and, I mean, boom, that's a lot of freaking money. Alright, Jimmy's gone, why would I ever leave? I could be here for years. Time to go grocery shopping, baby. Ah! Now, if Alex crosses this red line that we painted around the entire perimeter of the grocery store, the challenge is over, and he walks away with his current winnings. So oh, shoot, sure. yeah, that... That won't be very good. Now, personally, for me, there's no freaking way I could stay at a grocery store for 45 days. I mean, when you're in a grocery store, even for like 30 minutes, it just gets really boring. So, I mean, you have all the food you need, but... It's worth noting here that we have countless cameras covering every... But the food's gonna, like, get... The food's gonna go bad eventually. I I'll get the steak. I think this is just gonna be home base, this little corner of the grocery store. If I have meals like this every night, I'll easily be here for years. I mean, can you like cook the food at the grocery store? Because I know there's so many grocery stores where they don't have all those cooking utensils and like, you know, freaking ovens and stoves and pans and well, I mean, they have pans, but you know what I mean. And is that Chris? Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I think I kind of like him skin. I mean, her, her. I like her skinnier now a little bit. It, I don't know, looks very, um, God damn it, I probably shouldn't be going this way. In 24 hours, I got the first 10 grand. Alex! Hey! Can you feel this and confirm it's $10,000? Um... That is a lot of money. I mean, like, is that even real money? Like, I, I know he always uses real money, right? But, like, is all that real money in the shopping cart? Like, just crumbled up, just a bunch of freaking... I think they're $1 bills. They're freaking $1 bills all crumbled up in the shopping cart. Twist of the challenge. Basically, to receive the daily $10,000, you need to give me $10,000 of product from the store. And so you have to strategize what order to get rid of these items to stay here as long as possible. Oh, wow. Okay. Immediately. Wait, he has to do what? So he has to strategize a way to get rid of items as quickly as possible? Like, what? There's a lot of electronics over there that are pretty expensive. Oh my god, they have to miss the Beast chocolate bars. Of, really of course... It. They had to film that one little scene right in front of the chocolate bars. Market advertising. TV, so it's no use to me. You're 22 cents over. All right, let me check out. Yeah, the MVP card? No. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Chris. That's definitely Chris. You like one? No. You want to sign up no. for <laughs> Here's your cash. But I, I, I thought he, like, stopped, like, being in the Mr. Beast videos. Yeah, I, I thought he like, or she, god damn it. I thought she has been like doing her own thing in recent months, but I, I don't know, I don't know. Chris, I haven't watched Mr. Beast in forever, so. I will see you tomorrow with another $10,000 in cash. You should start strategizing what you're gonna sell me. This changes everything. I gotta start strategizing. Also, Mr. Beast lost a lot of weight too. All the stuff that I need to get rid of, pet food, pet items. Jimmy cannot pay me to eat this stuff, I swear. I got $10,000 worth of dog food right here. I think I'm just gonna get some rest, wake up early, because I'm gonna have to prep more items tomorrow. <laughs> I got a lot of work ahead of me. Oh my God, that's a horrible sleeping fort. Wow, that is like so horrible. And it's only day three? Oh, what's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey! Is that what you're selling to me today? I'm kind of surprised because yeah. usually this goes by like really fast. It takes forever to move. Wait, can we do like a. I don't let him clap transition. Go for it. 
The clap trip. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my god, that was so dumb. That was so dumb. Why did they have to do that? <laughs> Isn't that a cool effect? I love these snacks. I mean, it was it's cool, $9, but. $991.80. That was just very unnecessary. And for the final item, we are now at $10,045. And something you should know every single item Alex sells to me, we are literally going to donate to charity. So don't worry, none of this. Is oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, at least you aren't doing the Elon Musk move and being like, well, I'm just going to keep all the items for myself. Why is that, Elon Musk? You don't need freaking dog food. You don't have dogs. Well, I have robotic dogs that can shoot flamethrowers. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. The next few days were kind of a breeze for Alex. On day five, he sold me ten thousand dollars worth of produce. All this produce. Oh wow! Here. They're gonna go bad very fast. On day six. Yes, yeah, got... smart move. Smart move. Sold me a bunch of diapers. And on day seven, yeah, why would you need diapers? He put on an additional thirty thousand dollars worth of products. He even discovered the back room of the store, and since he hasn't showered in ten days, he built his very own makeshift shower. <laughs> And laundry system. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I don't know if I could not shower for 10 days. I just, I don't know if I could ever do that. Hey, Jimmy. All right, as of now, give me an honest answer. How far do you think you're going to go? Oh, I mean, I feel like 100 days for sure. Oh, boy. Depending on how long Alex lasts, this may just become my most expensive video ever. But I'm prepared for that. Yeah, but I mean, you always say that and then it turns out it ain't. And even if it is, I mean, look at how many views... Look at how many views you get in all your videos. I mean, you know how much money you make off your videos? Especially with the ad, the ad revenue. God, like, god damn. Put all this in here into that one. The bank. You will get this once I get my $10,000 in items. All right, today I have... Oh, so it's kind of like a fair trade. You know, he buys $10,000 worth of stuff, or he sells $10,000 worth of stuff to Mr. Beast. He gives him $10,000. Just to do this every day. Okay, that's a fair deal. I like that. That's a fair, compromisable deal. For TVs. Who goes to a grocery store to buy a TV? Why are these here? <laughs> now, Alex. Be yeah, honest, I actually kind of agree. Yeah, these TV that's like, with rocks and that's why you got places like Best Buy to go and buy your freaking TVs. Not freaking Safeway. <laughs> it's a TV. Uh, dogs. Alright, I trust him, even though that was not what I was asking. Yeah, what were you trying to ask him? Approaching day 11, Alex began to get pretty efficient at picking which items to sell. $10,001.89. And since I had to leave to go film a video where I stranded myself on an island... Ooh, I need to watch that too, in fact. I, I haven't watched Mr. Beast in so long, just because of all the controversy and stuff. Not because I hate Mr. Beast now, and because... He, he's a lying hypocrite, although he may actually be such a case. But it's just because I, I've been watching other stuff lately, and I, I mean, I didn't really get bored of his content, because that's never the case. Like, his content's, like, top-notch amazing. But, I mean, sometimes I, I like to, you know, watch different varieties of stuff. It's not comfortable, but let's pray we get, like, 30 minutes of sleep tonight. We had someone else drop off the money for Alex. We call him the money man. The money man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That was very rude of him. Thousand dollars. I could definitely. But damn, like look at all that money, though. Oh my god. Reach a million. And what he did with the rest of his time to keep himself entertained was interesting. I'm building the cheese ball wall. <laughs> it's done. Rear wall of cheese ball. What is he doing? Oh my god, he copied your Dion. Oh come on, man. Except he did it with the little, the little kid bike. It was bike. worth it. It was so worth it. And of course, he had to repaint the logo or the brand of the store to say Beast Grocery. And Alex Even though it's actually Safeway. Because it's a piece of crap. What I'm going to do is use four of these shelves to reinforce the shower. There you go. Oh, okay. That's pretty smart. That's not pretty smart, though. They're like falling so apart. Plastic liner, drape it across here. The walls are waterproof now. All right, you gotta give it to him. This man is literally constructing a functioning shower out of just raw store parts. And there it is. Shower's done. Time to test it. You're not gonna get naked in front of the camera? Oh, hell no! Well, I don't blame you. You have a really awful body. 
Also, it's pretty ugly, too. Okay. It's been a few days in here. I'm gonna build a wall. Now, I never thought I'd see this, but Alex literally used all the water bottles in the entire store to build walls for his makeshift shelter. He even created a bed using all of the toilet paper, and it looked kind of comfortable. Uh, are you sure about that? Get this oh, okay, yeah, little grills. grills. That's right. They sell little grills at the freaking Mr. Beast shop. And boys, for a while. Or Beast yeah, groceries. Like, these things are freaking expensive. It is actually surprising how expensive birthday cards are. Because Alex oh my. his $10,000 mark only using the cards. And after I got back from filling out the island. All right, hey. Wait, was that Chris again? I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm obsessed with her, but like, I gotta go back. Uh -huh. Wow. She's really trying. Use the forklift in the back of the store. You know, if you can. Oh, hell yeah. Are you sure you're gonna let Chris drive this? Yeah, are you sure you're gonna let a transgender woman drive a freaking forklift? No, I don't think so. But who knows? Maybe Chris will do a very great job. Oh, man. Wow. Well, at least Chris made it. <laughs> After destroying a whole bunch of crap. Enjoy your forklift. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Even though it's only been a day since he last saw me, it seemed like Alex really started to miss me. At least, that's the only explanation I have for what he's about to do. I saw this cut out of Jimmy over here. We're going to be hanging out a lot, you and I. He's Why? Just watch, make sure. That is really disturbing. Why are you doing that? You don't need Mr. Beast to guide you every time you do something. I don't lose count. Just scanning away for another ten okay, ten thousand dollars thirty-three cents. Oh wow, almost exactly. Two days, Alex's efficiency was through the roof thanks to his new forklift. So he even had enough time to upgrade his bed. It was quite the improvement. Oh, okay, it's not too bad. It's better. And even though Alex's original goal was to get Still a, a little small, dollars, but I think we're going for a mail on this one. I hope not. He started documenting what he'd spend the money on and came to realize maybe he didn't need to stay as long as he thought. A million dollars is nice in theory. I'm still missing out time with my boys. Both their birthdays are coming up in the next two months. I've never missed a birthday yet. So after thinking about what I want to put the money toward. Holy crap. He already has this all prepared. $130,000 for a house, $25,000 for vacation, $50,000 for a car, $60,000 for college, $75,000 for savings, could be more, I'm not going to lie, $100,000 for business, and last but not least, $60,000 to pay off debt. I realize that I need to at least make $500,000, but right now, I only have two hundred. dollars so in total... I Ooh, so you have to stay in here for a lot longer. 50 days I gotta be in here, almost halfway there. Yeah, but hey, at least she's staying until 45, so that's like really close. To Alex decided to absolutely decimate all the goldfish in the grocery store. Oh my god! Okay, so this is $10,000 worth of goldfish. I could be an army of There's There is a lot of goldfish. regular life now almost you're getting paid 10 grand a day to miss your family yeah and you can just do this however long you want yeah and you can just do this however long you want. oh now he's having those now he's having those thoughts oh man should i really be doing this is this really necessary for me the days started blending together for alex but eventually the day came where he decided to sell the water that he originally used for his shelter but since he couldn't sell the empty shelves in the store, he realized they make pretty good walls. I gotta reinforce. Oh, yes, exactly. Smart thinking, man. The house with metal shelves. I just don't know how well that's gonna go, though. Oh my god. What is happening? As you can see, Alex is feeling pretty at home now. But what he doesn't know is when I bought this grocery store, I stopped paying the electricity bill. So at any point now, all the power's gonna cut off and his freezers won't work, the lights won't work, and so much more. 
the challenge is going to get way harder. But to give him some motivation before things get pretty crazy, who thought Alex deserved a reward? Are you excited? Oh, it takes wife and kids to go see him. Hey, what's up, Hunley? Uh, I see that you've been in a grocery store for over 30 days. Yeah, I like doing this sh you ready to do this? Yeah. I think he might literally cry. This is going to be crazy. Well, if he does, then I'm going to have to end the video. Because I don't want to see that crowd. Our special guests. <laughs> Yesterday, you were telling me about how much you miss your family. I felt kind of bad. So to celebrate 30 days, we're going to let you spend the day with them. Oh, that's nice. One day in the grocery store, all together, all for them. This is so retarded, guys. I don't know why I'm filming this.